probably have to get far enough into the books to unleash us to undo to learn a spell that does something at the ruins is my guess maybe yeah anyway hello everybody ah uh, sorry we were just discussing what the heck we can do welcome back to the reading yes um day on reading with corpse and clear more reading yeah weirdly enough uh let's check our bookshelf did we do 15 and 13 and 14 Oh. All right, let's, let's let's go outside oh. and let's go to the bubble tea shop What's and read there. Money and read, okay. Yeah, because why not? Did oh. we read fourteen? Apparently not. Okay. Yes, we did, but oh. it seemed to skip straight into it, so maybe just didn't yeah. register it. Okay, right. <laughs> 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 reading. <laughs> and. Check bookshelf, might as well. We can. Uh... Well, if we put these two, yeah, and and then get some more books for corpse yeah. to read. Yeah. Because well, at least we haven't passed out and had a vision for a while. <laughs> That's something. Well, you just said that now. Well done. Yeah, at least it'd be a different screen to look at. Are you? <laughs> <laughs> put books in your bag, right? We've done all these. <laughs> and <laughs> oh, we haven't done twenty and twenty-one. I think. Scrolly, scrolly, scrolly. Scrolly, scrolly, scrolly. It was my thing to do. Scrolly, scrolly. Oh, this is how we set this up. Corpse and me do a Google Hangout, and yep. I, I'm the one that actually plays the games. Yep. So my fingers are the ones that hurt because Corpse does Jack as always. <laughs> Jack doesn't buy this scenario. My cat's called Jack. Okay, now it's got weird. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go outside to the cosplay cafe. Welcome back, Master. Hey. Read. <laughs> hey, these are all ones we haven't read. Read 15. Yeah, let's do it sort of in order, not really. Prince Ren is spending the day at his private retreat of Viola to accompany him. But he suddenly sends her way to fetch a particular book he wishes to read because, you because know, he's, he's a, a prince. Dick. He wouldn't have servants for that sort of shit. He has to send his bodyguard away. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, uh. Oh, she returns with all possible haste. It's a bit of lots of different spells of haste she's got in a book. Uh, <laughs> to find two young girls of stubs clinging to him and crying. Oh, God. Oh, it's one of those kind of days, eh? Uh, <clears throat> Apparently, it's always one of those kind of days. She is shocked beyond words that they were able to enter the grounds undetected. Much less than, than that the prince hadn't hasn't called any other guards to him as he should have. Well, the prince. Nevertheless, did. something hidden in her bids her to remain hidden, and so she watches until the two girls take their leave. She also takes note of how they managed to evade the other guards and makes a mental note to address that later. Bloody invisibility spell. <laughs> Once they're gone, she asks him what happened. The prince simply tells her that she thinks they may have the aptitude to study at the Royal Magic Academy. Okay. What? The oh. stories begin to converge. Oh, God. Um, bum, bum, bum. What is going on here? Oh, we've got a book bookmark light. Yeah. I've forgotten about that. It's the only thing we've ever bought, apart from books. Apart from books. What? Yeah. What? Eh? He asks her to keep quiet about what happened. Viola reluctantly gives... Sorry, sorry, sorry. What? My bad, my bad, my bad. What have you done? What have you done? I pressed right click. I didn't mean to. You play the fucking games if it's so good for you. <laughs> ah, read the manga in the cards like that. Uh, somehow makes it more enjoyable. Because everyone else is masturbating too. Okay, I think... <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's quite that kind of place. <laughs> it might be. Admittedly, some of the figurines bit risque. But I'm assuming you're not. Can, can we, can we... Oh. oh. The phone just has no written on it. No, computer says no. What's yeah, it says no. Nah. Books or manga? <sighs> Let's look at general with... items. A bigger backpack. Yes. Massive backpack with wheels. <laughs> <laughs> What's a backpack? Let's get a medium backpack. We'll receive it in three days. Yeah, we'll have read everything by then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. Let's read a book. Uh... Oh, okay. Okay. Wow, there's lots we haven't read. <laughs> I mean, how oh, good. <laughs> oh, good. 
good. I used to start reading, oh, God's life, volume mate. Because I have a really weird uh, tendency when it comes to reading in order. The Queen gives birth to a son and names him Wren. <laughs> As children don't show any magical prowess until they're older, it will be six or seven years before Viola can ascertain whether or not he inherited his father's magic. Huh? Okay. The king formally presents the magic dispelling sword to his newborn child. Hello. <laughs> and Queen Alvina decrees that none but he shall touch it. Um, Deterred with the promise of pain and imprisonment. Nat okay. order. Viola is suspicious of what the Queen's ulterior motives may be, but no, but has no one in which to confide. The sword keeps his magical powers restricted. <laughs> oh, of course. Of course. I go to bed and fall asleep. As you do. As you do. Uh, yeah, so no, I have been so no, careful. No. Why do you spend so much time in this hallway then? Just, 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 just do something else. Like go to the park and just read. read. I'm not allowed to talk to people. God, it feels like when I was in school. Um, <laughs> you want to talk? No, nope, run off. Oh, I'll just go and read in the corner. Oh. Prince Wren has been left behind on the edge of the cliff as Sybil and her father make their escape. The mages attempt to stop them, but he defiantly blocks their spells. The mages then join their powers together. Our powers combine to create a long-range spell so powerful that the prince be unable to stop them with his sword. Desperately, he tosses the sword aside and begins drawing his own considerable magical powers. He tried throwing the sword at them. Yeah, that oh, would like, help. Just, have you tried slashing them up into little bits? Have you actually tried fighting them with the sword? Yeah. But untrained as he is, Prince Ren is unable to focus and channel the energy as he wishes. His destructive power is frightening to behold, and the mages shift their focus to stopping him blowing up the world. <laughs> Among them, the prince suddenly recognises the two girls who snuck onto his private we grounds just read years that book. ago. We just read that book! <laughs> <laughs> they have now become royal mages in service to the crown, and their desire to save him is all but written on their face. They okay. only have one between they them. <laughs> between them, they only have the one face. <laughs> <laughs> he he realises that the spell is out of control now, and is consumed by despair, knowing he will undoubtedly kill the, the two of them along with many other innocent women. Right. But in just the nick of time, Viola seizes his discarded sword and uses it to disrupt the near complete spell. Okay. Eating in the park is so relaxing. Dramatic mm. tension, dramatic tension, dramatic Good tension, tension. So relaxing. So relaxing. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. What do you want to do, Stimpy? Uh. <laughs> 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 Let's go for a run. Da, da, da. Level up! Level up! All right, all right, all right. I've got something to celebrate this with, where is it? All right, all right. Yay! What yeah. the hell is that? That's a clacky thing. It's a clacky thing. You know those wooden kind of clacky swirly round things that, you, that are kind of traditional for fans of, of football in the 1930s to use? Yeah. One of them. You are a stranger. <laughs> he cost me a quid at a market. How can I say no? Like this? Nah. Nah. Oh. <laughs> Let's talk to Viola. Yeah. Do you need something? No, nah, no. Nah. Nah, I'm off. Where are our friends? Let's go see this <laughs> cafe. It's oh, just... no. yeah, where the hell is everyone? Where have they gone? <laughs> just let's go read in the park. Oh. Yes. <laughs> About four people in the entire city now. Everyone's you are dead. reading in this park and you are going to like it. To sit in the park and read the damn book. <laughs> Viola wakes up in in the bed in the palace healer's chambers, having passed out from the backlash. Giggity. Across from her, Prince Ren is also fast asleep with his sword by her side. She breathes a heavy sigh of relief to see him safe and sound and incarcerated. Once he wakes up, he expresses his deep gratitude for a quick thinking that saved everyone's lives, including his. The fact he had a sword next to him that could dispel magic didn't cross his mind. No, well, he doesn't seem too bright, I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Uh, Viola sim simply says she did her duty. But this is not enough for Prince Ren. After long consideration, he uses his immense magical power to cast the age reversal spell he saw her reading about so many years ago. She is now 12. Oh, she is now 12. Yeah. He says that he and his father have selfishly used her for many long years now, and she should have a chance to live for herself now. And now he gets to use her all over again in a different way. Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
With tears in her eyes, Viola thanks him and formally leaves his service. She finds a quiet down to se- town to settle down in, eventually gets married and has a son of her own. Uh-huh. Years later, she finds out that the grand project failed and is relieved that the kingdom will be safe from the Holocaust. Right. In time, Prince Wen marries a powerful mage and fathers a son who is hinted at to be even stronger than a newly crowned king. Happy endings are the best, I guess. <laughs> but it feels like this one was slapped together without a lot of thought. Because the story didn't end. Dun dun dun. Dun dun dun. Better. Let's let's work. Call someone. <laughs> ah! Ah! Let's, let's work. Let's check your email. Work it. Work it. No. Oh oh. Whoop. Hang on. The player? Did we? When did we get that? That is crazy, isn't we? Oh, now for something. Now for something key. Girls like confidence in a man, right? And I don't like girl. I don't like girls who are desperate or depressing as dating material. Don't go overboard, though. Just be yourself and show you're comfortable in your own skin and possibly yours. <laughs> Keep in mind, learn and growing <laughs> are things you'll do throughout your entire life. Which is why you need to make sure your, your doors are really, really tall, right? <laughs> so you bang your head 50. But keep in mind that uh, if it was a worker will become a better person, that girl will definitely fall for you. No, unless she doesn't like you. Yeah. Or ask someone else or something. You know, because, you know. Yeah. <sighs> we have to read, aren't we? <laughs> we don't have to read. We'll put these ones back. No, we can just stare at the wall for an hour. <laughs> um. Just do cardio for the next three episodes. Nothing else. Oh God! <laughs> We're One, making progress. Two, three. We are okay. Let's it's, put it's these. coming along. Oh, I didn't mean to put it. The bereaved queen now wears the king's pendant, <laughs> oh, God. effectively sealing off her own power for some reason. Prince Wen continues to carry the sword he received from his father, although no one has told him the truth about the blade. It's made of cancer. It's made of After cancer. many long months spent paralyzed by grief. Queen Alvina focuses her energy to create the best possible world for their son to grow up in. Right. In order for the kingdom to flourish, the next generation of magic users must become much stronger and more full of love than the previous one. That's not how magic works. To this end, she creates a tournament for young girls to compete in because that'll help with the generating love when it competition. Yeah. Hinting that her son would find a strong maid attractive as a future bride. Maybe. She, maybe. The young prince doesn't understand his mother's reasons, but agrees to go along with her plans as he loves and trusts her. Right. Viola is disturbed by the Queen's sudden obsession with tournaments and magic, but keeps her worries to herself. Good. Sounds like preparing for a war to me. <laughs> That's just me. Go uh, somewhere else. The park. Read. Oh! You don't uh, have to read. What have you done? <laughs> we'll just go. Know, that was the bottom of the bag, wasn't it? <laughs> I'm going to rest for a little bit. Evening. Evening. That's an impressive man. Hey, Yay. not that pack. Right, let's check the bookshelf. Put books into the bag. Right. Um. Oh. I don't remember which ones. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, let me check the bookshelf. Read the book. Right, so it's... Oh, duh. Nine, seven, six, five, four. Four five six seven eight four five six seven nine apparently. Four five six seven nine. 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 Four. Five. Oh well, five. Four. Four. Five. <laughs> Two. <laughs> Don't do that, please. I just, that just hurts. <laughs> it just hurts my soul and I don't know why. <sighs> you sound like like the creepy version of Elmo. <laughs> I mean, creepier version of Elmo. Murder Elmo. Yeah, murder Elmo. <laughs> Yay, let's call someone. No. <laughs> this image of him. Picking up his phone, then just Elmo's hand presses on it and goes, no. <laughs> Why Elmo's hand? 
<laughs> you mentioned Elmo, and it's like a myth then. Just go outside no. and, and read the. A... No! <laughs> <laughs> Volume 4, read it, bitch. While guarding the king, Viola overhears a conversation between him and the queen. As, he, as she would. <laughs> queen Alvina is concerned that King Arse is overworking himself. He's working his arse off. <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> As a king, he has no official power. However, he still spends his time gathering information and forging diplomatic ties on his wife's behalf. Yeah. He tries to reassure her that everything is fine, completely fine, but the queen begs him to be allowed to help him. What? Okay. The king does not promise this, however, and the queen changes the subject. She gifts him with a pendant and asks him to promise her that he will always wear it, which he does. Creepily. Yep. Viola finds the Queen's insistence on interfering with the King and her gift of the pendant suspicious. She has heard stories of powerful women bewitching and negatively manipulating kings before. Right. I don't have to bewitch them if you're, you know, in charge. Yeah. <laughs> As long as you don't have to bewitch someone if you're, you know, you can have them murdered at a, on a whim. Uh, she wonders if Queen Alvina somehow forced this marriage to further her ambitions. Huh? Right. And now to protect the King from, from her potentially you tip. Ulterior plots. What's going on? So, the Queen's up to no good. I guess it's how Viola and the King and the King will end up together. Nah. 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 This whole, at this point in time, this is just like... Nah. Nah. This is again, nah. 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 We're gonna read again, bitch, but we're gonna read in a slightly different background. Yeah. <sighs> Don't you? Are you not entertained? No, not really. Not really. No. Read the damn books. <laughs> Viola works hard to gain the trust of the king, and the two will become one another's closest confidant. Oh, yay! One day, King Ars asks her to accompany him to a particular garden outside the city. Yay! Sex garden. Uh, she is befuddled by the fact that the queen personally ordered ordered the king's other guards to remain behind. Viola finds this fishy and vows to be prepared for an ambush. Okay. When they arrive at their destination, King Urs confesses to her that he ordered it built so he could have a private place to relax. Fair enough. Okay. There's a masturbation joke in there somewhere. <laughs> he tells her to make take as many flowers as she likes, not I mean. Aye, aye. <laughs> but she loves the idea of spoiling the beauty of the garden and decides she will take oh, only take one. Yay! The boat is 15 feet across. Now, after a long struggle, because she's really, apparently she's a crap girl, she just can't get the flowers out of the ground. <laughs> she finally selects a flower, the smallest, weediest one available, that would most mem no, that would most memorialise the visit. But to her horror, she finds King Argus has vanished without a trace. Oh! She uses Excel to search for him with all possible haste. Excel theory. Yep. Zoom. Okay. On the very last page of the manga, she discovers him in a far corner of the garden, opening a secret underground passage. Dun dun dun. Hey, <laughs> you're crap. Uh, what could the king possibly be doing? Opening a door. Is he being controlled by the queen? Probably not. I, I really need to pick up the next volume soon. Well, funny you should say that. <laughs> yeah. Evening. Evening all. Evening all. We learned Excel. Excel. Excelsior. So on. Sh shall we go, go and... Go to the park and try and use that yeah. spell. She did come oh, near. No, 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 not read. Read, read. <laughs> read. Oh, forest. Forest. Green the forest. Ah! That's Thursday. Stop Go doing it. The... Don't do it intentionally. <laughs> I don't want to strange how the kids are. Abba jabba ja. Abba jabba ja. Oh. No. Velociraptor. Raptor. Awesome. Um, it's the size of a turkey. Let's look at Excel. Makes you go faster. Go to thunk. We well, yeah, it's haste, basically. Uh, let's try it. Excel, barrier. Punchy, uh, blasty punchy. Blasty punchy. Meow. <laughs> Beat up its tail. <laughs> okay, this is a bit tougher. Uh, oh, no, so Raptor. Wow! Now Velociraptor. Barrier. And now Velociraptor. Now Velociraptor. 
Na 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 Velociraptor. Na 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 Velociraptor. Uh. Magical blast. Yep. Swish. This looks like a bit. It's having a magical fart. It does look a bit like it's. Having, I don't know. Oh, just. It's a Velociraptor, but it doesn't have the big claw on its feet. No. Shame. Okay. Back to dust. And on another one. Another one. And then. Another one. Blast two. Hey, gonna get you to. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, you poor sod. Uh, oh. Hey, could you tell me where the. Uh, could you tell me where my people's village is, please? Or oh. where it was. I'm very sad. I've come to collect their remains so we can bury them in the great pile. The great pile. Uh, <laughs> I've got any hands. Where do you start to build? <laughs> Well, she's not going to talk to you. You're going to read a book. Go sit in the park and read a book. Because that's what I want to do when I play video games. Oh, yeah, definitely. I want to sit in the park reading a book. Fearless secretly follows King Urs as he descends into the cave. As they walk, she recognises the place immediately from matching classified royal guard report descriptions that this was once the rebel hideout. Yeah. Simply before the garden was built on it. Otherwise, oh, that would have been a security breach. <laughs> The group consists entirely of men who resented the fact that so many women could use spells. They developed a secret weapon that was capable of destroying magic and plotted to overthrow the kingdom. Okay. She confronts the king about what he's doing in such a place, and he shamelessly confesses that he wants a member of this group. Right. I want to be a wizard. Queen Alvina learned of the scheme, and the company had accompanied a detachment of mage knights to stop them. Arse! Was injured during the attack, but escaped, only to find the, king be the queen being ambushed by assassins sent by a rival country. Uh -huh. Of course, he didn't know at the time who she was. He only saw a lone woman being set upon. Just her guards are rubbish. As Queen yeah. Alvina's disguise, guards were older oh, unconscious, huh? Well, that, that's helpful. Yeah. No crap, gun. You got to help her. The two of them fell in love after that and were eventually married. Assassins right. were a crap. If you just started blood, you know, fun, blow dart of poison, she'd die. Okay. Yeah. Viola questions him about the pendant the Queen gave him, and he tells her that it's proof of Alvina's absolute love and faith in him. Okay. The panda can destroy magic the same way the group's secret weapon could. So she would never entrust it to him if she believed he would ever abuse it. Or she wants to prevent his magic from getting out. Yep. To honor Queen Alvina's trust, he felt he would safeguard the rebel group's secret weapon before it fell into the wrong hands. He brought Viola here to help him because he knows she would never reveal these secrets. So why'd he run away and hide? Yeah, could have helped. It just mean, oi, this way. With her assistance, the two of them retrieved the weapon, a beautiful double-edged sword club crafted with rare metal that dissipates I'm, magic on I'm, I'm going to ask a question of you now. Yeah? Because you know these sort of things. Aren't all swords double-edged? Not all of them, just the vast majority. Right, okay. Um, Katana, for example, are um, secret, oh, yeah, I suppose slashing so. weapons. Yeah, of course they are. Yeah. Yeah, oh, okay. The king binds the sword into its scabbard with a silken string. It's not much of a binding, I'll be honest. He confines that he hopes to entrust it to his son someday and ask Viola to watch over his child. Oi! <laughs> <laughs> Should anything happen to him? <sighs> really tempted to just start doing that just to alleviate the reading. <laughs> <sighs> Click again, servant. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> You're not oh, the boss of me! You're best from the riffraff like you and continue with your click. <laughs> Only click when it is required, thank you very much. Damn you! <laughs> Bloody Bolsheviks. <laughs> she gives her word to ease his mind, but privately vows to protect him so that such a day never comes to pass. Hopefully. He shall never die. Well, we can hope. Oh no, wait, we want him to die. Become Mecha King! Call Robot someone. ass! Okay. Robo ass. I'll make you read another book now. Yep. I'll go somewhere else and read a book. <laughs> Theoretically, we could spend the entire game sat in his bedroom reading a <laughs> book. Well, not the entire game, but quite a lot of it. <laughs> <laughs> Every night alone in yeah. your book. Yeah. Kate Arse and Viola began visiting the garden alone together once a week so the king could relax. <laughs> Okay. During one of these visits, the king is attacked by a group of assassins. Because the rest of his guards are apparently useless. Yeah. 
I don't think we've established this. Viola defends him valiantly, but despite her best efforts, one of the mage's attacks finds its mark. Uh-huh. To her shock, the king's hands glow and a flash of light protects him from harm. <coughs> Silence shouts one another, the king is an imposter and flee the scene. The king is an imposter? Right. Viola begins to suspect that perhaps another wall guard called one of the blood and switched places with the king using illusion magic. She casts a spell magic on the king several times to remove it. Hooray? Try as she might, there appears to be no disguise for her to remove. She just gives him a rash. <laughs> the king removes uh, questions. All, all I can Viola. imagine is her just, just spitting on a cloth and rubbing at him. <laughs> That's her magic. Just, That's just like... the old semantic components. <laughs> <laughs> the king questions Viola's actions, and she makes an excuse that she was removing any harmful spells the assassins may have used. Several times. Yep. She can only conclude that the king must in fact be one of the very few men born with the ability to use magic, or wizards as they're known. This explains how the king was able to save the queen from a band of assassins, because he couldn't have just hit him with sticks or anything. No. Yeah. That is likely the true reason why the queen opposed everyone's wishes to marry a commoner. Yeah. Even if the child she carries is male, he will likely be a very gifted magic user. So even if she gives birth to but to a daughter, she will well, she will be by far the most powerful woman in the world. Isn't she like the most... Isn't like this is a, a country of only one... A, a world of only one country that's floating on an island? No, there are a couple of others, like the ones who randomly try and assassinate people. Uh, could be political dissidents. Well, it's at another country, so it seems unlikely. Mm, true. Yeah. Mm. The idea unnerves her, but Viola keeps her thoughts to herself as she and King Urs return to the palace. Very relaxing. Full of piss. Let it uh, out. Let piss. piss out. If I make a game, I'm going to have a stat that um, gets shortened down to BS, just so someone can be full of BS. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um. <laughs> go outside, bitch. Yeah, let's just go somewhere else. Click, peasant, lead the way. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm going to make you read forever now. You're gonna Six years read. passed, but the young prince doesn't seem to be exhibiting any magical powers. Everywhere he goes, he carries his father's uber dispel sword with him. The metals used to craft the weapon are feather light, but the size of the blade still makes it unwieldy <laughs> for a small child to so, carry. So, let me get to it. You've given a six-year-old a double-edged sword. Yep. Nothing could go wrong with that plan. Even so, Prince Ren keeps the promise he made to his father to keep it safe. Keep, keep it secret. Change. Keep it secret, keep it safe. Keep it safe. As she watches the prince grow older, Viola reflects on the fact that she isn't getting any younger. Really? She wonders if she'll ever have children herself. No. Gwen asks Viola why she's always sad when she looks at him, but she simply pats his head and tells him to go play. Patronisingly. Yep. The young prince asks his father to make Viola smile again. <laughs> <laughs> And, and the king appears to have had some idea by the end of the volume. <laughs> creepy, creepy. Check the bookshelf. Put your books on the shelf. Boop, 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 boop. I'm going to make you read. Read a book. Oh, whatever. Yeah, just go get my books off the shelf for me, will you? Yeah. Give me that one. Little Disruptor. Ellie is cha challenged to her first duel with the girls who has a boyfriend. <laughs> The girl uses a powerful spell that limits Ellie's magical output, and all hope seems lost at first. Who then, are these people? Then she throws a stool at her, and all is well. Are you talking Ellie... about stool, as in a stool, or the other kind of, of stool? I, I was thinking the kind made of wood, but either would work, really. <laughs> I suppose so. But Ellie refuses to give up, and finally realises the truth behind her clumsiness. She was a menace to other people's mobility for a reason. Is that reason because she's ridiculously harnessing her unique ability to spell magic she removes the girl's spell and ends up winning the match yay upon seeing this her classmates bestow upon her the titular nickname little disruptor right that just sounds like someone who's really naughty in class yeah <laughs> no kids like that well you would well, yeah. it's just kind of your job description well yes um let's check don't take it let's check her bookshelf Read a book. We got. Yeah, on there. Hey! What's this? What's? <laughs> what's? What's? We now oh, need God. to make money. Call to someone. <laughs> Maybe we can talk to them now. 
Oh. Damn. We're gonna we're gonna have to work. buy the rest of the books. You can buy the rest of the books. We we'll have to work first, but yeah. Yeah. We gotta what? We gotta buy the rest of the books. Let's look at the game. Work on the database because that's what we're best at. Yeah, we're not very good at it, but that's what we're best at. <laughs> so we had to be. <laughs> it's Sunday, so. So anything can happen. I don't trust this calendar system. <laughs> Let, let's let's work some more. Uh, uh, Aha! Yep. Let's, let's get that it's database. It's game us. It'd be a miracle if we get a game out. Yeah, ever. We are going to work like the Dickens on the Game Studio database. Yeah, you said Dickens. <laughs> Penis. Willy. <laughs> Willy! Oh, for the love of bugger fuck. Um, <laughs> sorry! <laughs> <laughs> okay, we went from Willy to Buggerfuck. That's, that's, that's a bit of a step up. <laughs> <laughs> I like the term Buggerfuck. Penis flower. Tit mallet. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, clunge hammer. Okay. Clunge musket. If you're lucky. <laughs> Alright, has Sophia got anything? Where are the two girls that we actually are friends with? Where have oh, our you, friends gone? Yeah. There's no one else in the school. Everyone's been killed by the but the Y2K bugs to come up again and just swarmed around and infected infected everyone with maggots like bot flies. <laughs> and all in hospital. That's, What's that's... wrong with you? <laughs> Let's rest and chill out a little bit. Bzzz. The only reason you haven't got it is because you can beat up giant insects. You know? Yeah. Of course you can beat up giant insects. What what's the point otherwise? Oh, let's just work on the frickin' database. Uh, it's a different button. <laughs> a different button. It's a quicker button. I got a bed and fall asleep, as usual. We should. Oh, you know what? You know what? It's oh. it's that time again. It's end of an episode. Okay. <sighs> yeah, we did. We sort of possibly made progress. Maybe we made progress in the form Not of sure. books in a computer game. Yeah. Okay, can 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 I? Can, should, let's just talk to the developer of this game. This mechanic <laughs> really weird. <laughs> if you're still watching it, I this think, is really odd. I don't like it. I think it needs refining, so you don't get big blocks of it like this, yes. or at least that's un less likely to happen. Yeah, because it just, just gets too grindy and grindy. Law exhibition, uh, exhibition. Yeah, it's, 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 it's uh, grindy. It's, law it, is not. It's not fun, fun law. Yeah. I mean, I like the story. Don't get me wrong, I quite like the story. The story is yeah. quite nice, but... I actually want to see how this game ends. I'm uh, yeah. not in a, oh god, I hope it finishes kind of way, like the last one. Yes. Uh, however, it's getting to that that point. So you either, it either... Right, so what it needs, it needs either limiting how many times you can read in a week. Yeah. Um, You need a boredom meter, <laughs> I think. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> If you get too bored from reading... Your boredom starter or BS level. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Then we can be full of piss and bullshit. <laughs> or the other one's just called vinegar. That would do as well. <laughs> piss and vinegar. <laughs> uh, I because you want to be able to space out the... Re I like the idea of getting the stuff from the manga which have... Yeah. Say, jog the character's memory or something, or yeah. there are stories of this alternate world, or however, what kind of other kind of weird stuff we find think, out, like it's all what, a dream or something, or you know, yeah. whatever. But I think so. I like that dreams... for getting the spells, but yeah, it's it's just that there there are too many. Yeah, is the issue, and there's nothing to do in the in between days if you've exhausted all other character dialogue. That's true. And we've been through two weeks this episode. Oh God. <laughs> we used to suddenly stop talking to Pete. <laughs> <laughs> what I imagine happens is he just he just he just stops and he just sits there in class and just starts ro rocking backwards and forwards. <laughs> oh dear. So yes, we're gonna leave it there. Um, yeah. I hope I'm, hopefully this is going to 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 solve itself very soon because obviously there's time ticking down. So, um, is there? Well, yeah, there's well, there's time. There's, there's a there's a calendar. Well, yeah. down, well there's a clap calendar. So I'm assuming something's got to happen. And maybe if we don't read enough books between now and then, 
the world, world will explodes. explode. <laughs> the great project comes into effect. Oh my god, yes, exactly. But now you say that, I'm very convinced that um, <laughs> yeah, that this story is like this this story. Yeah, the great, the great project is what created caused everyone to be in this world. Yeah. Because the bit that says that, you know, it didn't happen was in the bit that he said seemed a bit slapdash. So. Yes, exactly. <sighs> anyway, bye-bye. Yeah. Bye.